<laughs> it was a good deal that night because really Auburn, even I think when that we That was played, a big team to play. I would think, yeah, tell me if I'm wrong, I would think Georgia, Georgia would be a big rival team, but Auburn more than Georgia? No, both no, of them. Georgia, yeah, Georgia. I mean, unfortunately for me, I never was able to beat Georgia, but. Um, but that's the big because of the took, state yeah, interstate. Georgia, nothing took that. That was the big, the big game every year. And, um, but Auburn was a big game as well. Yeah, every time we played them, it just seemed like they were really highly ranked, and they, they just had a really well-rounded team each year. But somehow we pulled it out. You know what I mean? I don't know how we did it. We just did it. Played good defense and kept the ball. Did you have the aspirations to go on after that, or did you know at the end of college, okay, that was it for me? Uh, no NFL, no CFL, no anything like that. No, I, I did a, a brief stint um, in the NFL. I did a, a rookie camp with Minnesota, and then I had some, you know, medical complications and things like that. And then I did a year in Canada with um, Edmonton Eskimos. So I was able to go up there and play a year. But by that time, the uh, the passion for the game was kind of wearing out. Um, it gets to you. I remember speaking many years ago with The Rock, yeah. and he mentioned he played a little CFL ball too, but it just, yeah, well, he that, played so long, he's done so much that it was yeah. like, you know, maybe I should do something else now. Yeah, it, it was a great time. I mean, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't imagine my life without having those years playing football, but at the time when I went up to uh, Edmonton, I had just had my daughter who, uh, you know, and she's just a little baby, and I was all the way across the country, you know, above the border, so. At the that, time, were you in Pennsylvania or no? no were you no, living in Pennsylvania or no? no I meant no, I'm when, actually, yeah, you were in Edmonton. Florida. Oh, see, yeah. no, that I didn't even know. Yeah, Pensacola, um, Florida. Pensacola area. at the area. time, I was still living in Atlanta. Um, so, at that time, being that far away from my family and, and just the difference between the American game and the Canadian game, it, it just really wasn't for me at that point anymore. And it was one of those things where I could have maybe try to keep training and pursuing and hopefully get a call but instead of sitting around waiting for a call I knew you know I, I had a direct lifeline to this business and you know and it was just something that I, I knew I had I, I mean even before I started playing football I wanted to be significant one way or another I didn't know if it was wrestling football anything it could have been anything I just wanted to be somebody that people recognized and knew and um, by the time I was done playing football, I knew wrestling was the avenue that I needed to, to take. I needed to go down that road and try it. You had a way to get your foot in the door, but you got to keep your foot in the door and yeah. get your whole body in the door. So just talk, discuss a little bit about, hey, yeah, I have, I have a little bit of advantage over some others, but you still got to do it. It's up to you. Well, to be honest, I, I don't really, you know, I had the, um, the contacts to, to be able to get into the business, but I, as far as an advantage, the only advantage I really felt like I had was the athleticism that you know, my, my family passed on to me. But once you get here in the system, talent just is going to thrive. You, know, they, you, can, you can know whoever you want, but if you can't get in the ring and back it up, if, if you don't have the look, you can't talk, you can't you know, walk the walk, then it's then it's kind of uphill battle. So once you get here, it's up to you. Yeah, and you and you're competing against a bunch of guys who have been doing this, and and some of them, this was the only thing they've ever dreamed of doing. So, you know, even if you did have aspirations to do this, but your life took a you know a different turn down the road, and you did this for a little while, but now you're back here. I mean, I was away from this. You know, I, I spent eight, nine, ten years developing football skills which for me I, I'm able to translate it to the ring and you know the physicality the you know the work ethic the the agility the thing you know things like that you utilize what you learned and Absolutely, did in football yeah. into pro just wrestling the attitude yeah that I mean just the swagger that I was able to carry into this you know being confident in myself to to be a good athlete to to be a leader I mean that's what these all these guys are we're all leaders we're just all together now do you think it helped playing Division One football or no? And what I mean by that is Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, NAI, Junior College. That because you were playing in front of so many people, because those crowds must have been tens of thousands. Am I right? I mean, some of those SC, oh, yeah. SEC I games. Mean, yeah, we. I mean, I've played in front of ninety thousand people, and eighty-seven thousand people at Auburn. I think it was Tech. We held fifty-five. Um, 
Does that play any role in this or no? Different thing. It's a little bit different. You know, I, I don't get nervous being in front of people. You know, it's not something public speaking isn't a problem for me. It's. Um, but it wasn't because of that. It wasn't because of playing in front of 90,000 people. I think it's, I can't speak as far as not being division one. I, I, I was in a big program. Georgia Tech is a very old and prestigious program. And just to be in that atmosphere and to be held at the standard, having to go to classes every single day, having to, and, and they're not easy. I know, I mean, most colleges aren't, but I mean, Tech is an institute and it's, it's not an easy deal. Just to get into that school is not easy. So being held at that standard and then to be able to achieve, you know, what I was able to do at Tech and, you know, the football atmosphere, to be a team captain, to be a leader, um, to be an all ACC performer, um, I think that gave me a big advantage dealing with the personalities that you deal with and um, just holding yourself true to who you really are.